If you clicked on this video, you already know what it is. You've come to hear a direct message from the universe. So if you guys are here and you don't know, I am the universe's best friend, confidant, partner, speaker, messenger, light carrier, mystic. God's my best friend, really. And I'm probably your spirit guide. So you didn't just fall on this video out of a coincidence. I do believe that there's a message for you to hear. So if you haven't already, obviously subscribe, like the video. So if you guys are here, the universe has a message specifically for you. There are four different decks that you guys can choose from. Each deck is going to have a different energy behind the deck. Each deck is going to have a different message. So there's no such thing as choosing the wrong deck. That's like saying you just happen to land on this video out of all the videos on YouTube. Everything is for a reason. We're not gonna get crazy, but just understand that the universe is always communicating with you, always speaking with you. So that's why I'm here. And I'm honored to be able to deliver the message to you guys. So this is a message for exactly where you are right now, timelessly, does it matter? So it's not a coincidence that you're here. This is going to be the exact message you need to hear. So there are four different decks you guys can choose from. Last but not least, if you guys are always looking for more content and really, really diving into waking up, you can go to I'mReadyToWakeUp.com or you can go to the Tarot Chest where I release rare videos. So now when I'm releasing a video on the Tarot Chest, it's like treasure. There's only 200 or three of them available. So I'm releasing secret videos every other week or so. So once you guys get that, you're gonna be the only person who has that reading. So I'm gonna be releasing a lot more videos that way because I feel like it's more personal. So there are four different decks you guys can choose from. We have deck one, deck two, deck three, and deck four. Also check the timestamps down below in the pinned comment and obviously the description box. And now we have really cool chapters where you could just click on that and it'll take you right to your deck so you don't have to listen to the rest. All right, so we're gonna jump into this and see exactly why the universe brought you here. It's not by coincidence, let's see. One, this is your message for what the universe wants you to know right now. All right, there's something about protection coming through something very, very heavy already about protection coming through. I'm hearing that you are spiritually protected. I'm hearing to get closer to the universe, get closer to God for the sake of your peace, for the sake of your clarity, for the sake of you feeling safe. There's something about safety, protection, understanding that you are protected. You don't have to fear or worry about protecting yourself. That is a lot, that could be a lot to constantly be worried about protecting yourself. I don't know if you guys ever seen A Thousand Ways to Die. There's a lot of ways. And if we're really focused on always protecting ourselves, we can drive ourselves crazy. Besides, that is a job that is out of your job requirement and description is what the universe is saying. The universe is saying that you are protected, trust and know this, okay? So that could be very, very important to you. Haven't even touched the cards yet, but I'm feeling the energy. Okay, so who are you becoming if you guys chose this deck? We have the bee and we have the antelope. You guys are getting ready to see the rewards of all of what you've put out. I'm also hearing that what's yours is yours. So what's yours is protected. So don't worry about missing opportunities. Don't worry, period, is what spirit is saying. Don't worry. Don't worry is what spirit's saying. However, you're getting ready to receive a reward. Okay, we have number seven. You could be seeing a lot of sevens. You don't have to be, but seven could be very important. We also know seven is winning the lottery. Seven, seven, seven. Sweet results await. So it seems to me, I'm also getting community is gonna be very important to you. Connecting with other people because we have the bee, the bee community. I'm seeing you as the queen bee. I don't know why they're taking me here, okay? It doesn't matter if you're a female or a male, I'm seeing you as a leader, all right? So you are protected, this journey that you're on is protected. What's yours is protected. 
you're also going to feel like life is speeding up very quickly with the antelope. And that is out of a good sign of blessings. It's almost like there was a backup of your blessings that are getting ready to come in because you've been waiting. All right. Deck one, you've been waiting for some time. Let's get the overall energy. So you're becoming someone who's going to be a leader. You're becoming someone who is going to be an example for many people as well. Your life is going to be an example to many people is what I'm hearing. We also have happiness. Yeah, we have six of cups. We have the 10 of cups. We have the ace of water. God dang. All right, so this is a lot of emotional energy. This is a lot of emotional fulfillment. You guys could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You don't have to be. Six of Cups, once again, you are getting ready to meet soulmates. These are connections that feel familiar. It's not just the love. Love is in your cards as well. Lots of love, overwhelming emotion, gratitude. I can't believe this is happening. It's finally happening. These are some of the things you're getting ready to say. I'm just here to remind you that you are on the right path. Deck one, there's a lot coming through in your energy in the sense of it's, it's an overwhelming energy of just so many emotions that are going on right now, whether it's happiness, whether it's feeling like you're waiting, waiting for a breakthrough, but ultimately there's fulfillment here. There is replenishment here. There's restoration here if it has not already. So we also have the Ace of Cups. So this is a new beginning in your life emotionally. This is about what fulfills you. All right, this isn't about just what you like. You get over what you like. This is about what you love. It's deeper. Connecting with your emotions is gonna be very, very important and is very important right now in your life. All right, so you could already have met a soulmate or can be meeting a soulmate. All right, some of you guys could have be having um, could be having children that are soulmates or people around you that are soulmates. Family, community, support, love, connection. This is where what you're breaking into. So if you're wondering why things have been feeling where what they've been feeling and what's going on, you are opening up yourself to more love, more happiness, and more fulfillment. Let's get some clarity on why the Ace of Cups is here because this would be a new start or a new connection in some sense. Why is the Ace of Waters here for deck one? Confirm, Ace of Cups, whoa. Ooh, was that another ace? God dang. All right, let's take that. Deck one, spirit is also saying you don't have to fight for what is yours. There is no competition. What's yours is yours. And success and victory is yours. Okay, it's in your cards. You, this might be one of the best lives, like years that you've had in your life. This might be the best lives you've had in your lives as well, because there is an overwhelming sense of joy. It's almost disbelief. It's disbelief that there's this much joy in life, in the world. This is what you're coming into, all right? This is not something that you're gonna have to compete for with the five of wands. This will be yours. Even if it's a person, I'm getting a lot of, of um soulmate vibes here so you guys are on the brink of meeting someone very significant what's per what was preventing this from coming in was some of the doubts the fears that you have and also protecting you've been protecting yourself a lot protecting projects protecting ideas protecting this protecting that but again that's telling on yourself in a sense of fear it's already yours Victory, success, this is already yours. You're just simply embracing it and walking in it and saying, yes, this is mine. So we have a brand new start in your life that is occurring with two Ace of Cups. This feels like something that you would feel very happy doing as a child. This could be a passion that you are opening up yourself to. Okay, some of you could definitely be artists, some of you could definitely be in pass, in pass meaning you really feel emotions, but there's a reason why you have this gift. This gift is to be used to express through your passions, through what you enjoy and love to do. So you have a new beginning here in love coming. You have a new beginning in your uh, career as well. So it's like this new beginning is ease 
not having to work so hard. When you understand there's no competition and it's yours, then you can let up and actually relax and enjoy. That's what you're here for. So life is happening very quickly. However, many new beginnings are taking place. Okay. So I see victory in the cards for you as well. I see victory in your relationships. So if you've been struggling or you've been feeling like you haven't had much success in your relationships, meeting people with pure intentions, we have happiness, we have success, and we have love. These are the three words that I'm, that I'm getting that are coming into your life very, very quickly. This isn't something that you're going to have to wait for. Yeah, soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So this is going to really require you to have to open up more. Communicate. Express your emotions. Hey, I don't like when you say that. Like, I don't, it's, I don't like how you're saying that. Like, there's energy behind it. You know, like, you're going to really be in tune to your emotions. Something that I do see here for you, deck number one, is connecting more with God, the universe, or source. All right, this is the creator of all creators, the higher power, really getting more connected to that relationship because this is going to bring you more peace. We don't have any major arcanas here, which tells me spiritual awakenings. This isn't really a spiritual awakening. I want to get one more on the 10, 10 of cups. Yeah, higher font. That's, that's what I thought. Yeah. You guys could be a Taurus. You don't have to be. You could be thinking you could have thought about spirituality or religion as very practical. All right. So the higher font is in the reverse. There's more for you to learn and understand about your spiritual journey and who you are. A lot of you can tell who you've been by who you've been around, but that might not that might not be who you are. Your soul family is coming in because you're staying true to your heart. You're staying true to your soul over overwhelming feelings of gratitude is what I feel. Overwhelming feeling of love, of connectedness with strangers, but don't feel like strangers is what I feel is getting ready to happen for you. It's going to happen very fast. We have the three of cups here, celebration, people who are going to be coming in celebrating you. This is new. Okay. There's a lot of newness coming in something, things that you have yet to experience with other people as well is coming in is what the universe wants you to know. So you have a brand new start that's coming in and sometimes starts and beginnings look like endings because that's where it starts. So if, if it seems like things are ending, it's truly that they are beginning. So you're learning to change your perspective as well. Now you're, the universe wants you to know, that's crazy. Share your ideas with others. So share your ideas with others. Remember how I said that you were protecting yourself? All right. So share your ideas with others. Remember I said you were protecting? Well, you're protecting some ideas because you think maybe someone's going to get it. Listen, you got that idea for a reason. And you will execute what you're here to execute based on what you enjoy doing. And so share your ideas with others is something that is going to be bringing you a lot of success, a lot of networking um, opportunities here, a lot of collaborations I see coming in with you, people actually being able to see your work, see your talent, all right? You're getting ready to have a lot of people um, congratulate you. You're getting ready to have a lot of people tell you how good your work is how good your art is, how, how great your ideas are, how influential you are, how inspiring you have been to them. Some people, it's interesting. You've been attracting people like yourself, hiding, not sharing. They're not telling you how they feel. They're, they're not telling you how great they think you are. They're not telling you how beautiful, because you have been, in a sense, kind of hiding, protecting, feeling like you have to protect. Spirit is here to say you do not have to protect anything, all right? Let's see what the healing energy oracle is for you. What do you want them to know? They're here for a reason. They're still here for a reason. They're looking for something. What is it that they really need to hear? 
<laughs> Spirit says, stop looking and you'll find it. You know, when you look for your keys, you're like, oh, I lost my keys. And you can't find it. And then you let it go and then they appear. That's because once we let it go, we now adopt the reality that they have been found. I'm not going to go into that too deeply, but... Man, see, deck one, it's like you're there, but you're, you're elevating spiritually. There's so much fun in this power of spirituality. So inner beauty, you have open your eyes of the heart. Wow, we've been talking a lot about this. And direct your gaze to the light within every being. Personality and physical appearance are the image of man. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Personality and physical appearance are in the image of man. Beauty and goodness are the image of God. You are letting go of the 3D, right? This human experience, earth. Your body is simply just a vehicle. The make of your vehicle is human. The model of your vehicle might be gender. However, it is just simply a vehicle that allows you to have this experience on earth because without it, you would just be a spirit floating. So even now me teaching you this tells me that you're learning more about what is all of this? What's the truth here? Religion, spirituality, you're learning all of this. This is what it's about. And spirit is saying, follow the truth. Follow what resonates. I don't know you. You don't know me personally. This could be our first time meeting. I feel a lot of first timers on this deck. However, there's a reason why you're here and I can feel you. I can feel your energy. You could probably feel me as well. That's because we are connected. You were sent here by the universe. I was sent here on this couch with this message, with all of this to bring you this. So to understand all of this and, and to keep in mind, letting, letting alone not this video, you know, letting this video be what it is and getting it out and the audio, everything sounding on and you're still getting this message. So meaning so much has to happen for you to even be here that you don't see. There's a bigger picture. The universe is working in your favor, but you don't see it in the 3D. You don't see it physically. There's a lot of judgment on physicality, but that's just one part of this experience. So spirit is saying, open yourself up to the journey of spirituality. I'm ready to wake up.com, shameless plug, but we do get into it, okay? So there's a lot more in, let me tell you, lifetimes it will take. Lifetimes it will take to digest this amount of enlightenment because there's so much to unravel and it's, it's from a, a place of excitement. So your beauty is getting ready to shine, but many people may have seen you as beautiful on the outside. You're getting ready to attract people who see you past the physical. The car is going to deteriorate, wear and tear. This body is going to deteriorate, wear and tear. So if you're identifying yourself with this body, it could be very painful. It could be very saddening because the body it turns into a raisin. But that's not you. But if you identify it as, it could feel very bad. So once again, this is a lot of spiritual stuff and um, spirit is saying, don't get deceived by all the spirituality stuff and all of the religion, follow what feels true. Like I said, I don't know you. And if you can feel this and this feels true, that is your confirmation that this is a message directly from the universe. I don't have to tell you, you can feel it. Man, you guys are, no wonder why it took me two days to get this video out. In God's hands. I can't make this up. In God's hands. Not in your hands. If it's in your hands, my, you might, you're going to fumble. Okay? Imagine if it was in your hands to bring the sun up every day. Man. Man. Trust in life. And trust in life and that it is implicit. God's greater knowing and greatest love guide your heart and your choices. Your faith is steady and remains true to the light. The light is truth and love. Everything unfolds according to God's will. 
So the thing is, is that people think like, oh, God has this will, the universe has this will, and you have to, it's almost like you made an agreement with this life. And it's too deep to get into because many of you may not be living the life of your dreams right now. That's another, you're getting ready to. You, you are meant to live the life of your dreams. That's why you're here. This vehicle allows you to just experience the life of your dreams. But you and God, the universe, knew and know what's your highest level of passion and desire. And boop, that's the life you're living. So God's will isn't, okay, something against yours. So there's a lot of clarity that has to be brought to you to clear up your spirituality and your relationship and, and just align it to the truth. What resonates? What do you feel beyond what you think? We can't rely on what we think because there's going to be a lot of thoughts and a lot of things that sound interesting. But the only thing that's interesting here, people, is the truth because the truth is the communication from higher self. So this is not in your hands. When you realize this, it should be more of a, huh, a sigh of relief. Like, damn, I'm glad I don't got to bring the sun up every day. And damn, I'm glad I don't have to make these opportunities happen because the universe is doing it. How? That is for you to discover with the higher font in reverse. There's more for you to understand about spirituality and how it, how it works. What is it? Okay, so this new beginning in love, once again, it's guiding you. So you're, it's almost like, before you might have not needed God. <laughs> like that's the crazy part. You might not have not needed God because it was logical. It was in your control. You made it happen. You did the interviews. You did that. You brought in that. You didn't really need God like that. But now in this new journey with the Ace of Cups, what you're desiring is way past your wants. It's something that you don't even think you can do. So now it's like, I think I might need God for this one. And so... God is just like, dang, I wish we can have like a solid relationship outside of just when you need something. This is a lot. Yo, this is a lot. It's like God is talking to you like a best friend. So whatever you thought God was or the talking, all of that, it's like, what feels good? Let me tell you, God is love. God is patient. God is, is easy flowing, unconditionally loving. Nothing you have to do to deserve this. Everything is given to you based on your desire and God is conspiring with the universe, universe, whatever you believe, to make this happen. All right, action. So, so far, lessons of life and guidance, okay? So something that I see really big here that's going to be changing in your energy field is speaking up a lot more. You have a lot of throat chakra cards. So once again, you guys could be an artist. You could be a speaker. Something that you do passionately could involve your voice or your throat chakra. Some of you, um, so with the blue, we have a lot of just speaking your truth, communicating, talking about what you believe, what you feel. And we have a lot of success. We have public recognition for whatever it is you're doing with the six of wands here. So there is success. Five of wands is the only card of conflict that you have in this entire spread. And the five of wands is com competition, fighting with other people. And I'm here to just tell you that you don't have to fight for what is yours. It's yours. It's yours. Why would you have to fight for it? It's yours. Think about that. You walk out to the garage and people are like, no, nah, you need to fight me for this car. And you're like, but it's mine it's mine. They're like, no, you need to fight for it. You need to compete for it. And you're like, but it's already mine. Listen to life. The universe is communicating with you. God, universe source is communicating with you every day, every moment. It's, it's magical, truly. And it says, be attentive to the world around you, signs, symbols, numbers. They're guiding you to success, but where are they guiding you? Not here, right here in your heart. Listen and discover the way to the eternal. It's interesting that it's through here because if it was through here, there'd be a lot of people there. But not everyone has bravery and courage to be vulnerable and open up their heart, but that's your compass. So our compass of navigation and guidance has been blocked. So your passions, 
what's going to happen? It's in God's hands. We have a lot of sacral chakra. We have a lot of root chakra. Remember, I was talking about community, friendships. What do you want your friendships and relationships to be founded on? Love or fear? Because you feel bad, right? Friendship shouldn't be based on, well, I feel bad if I'm not their friend. I feel bad if I'm not with them. You should feel excited and inspired to call or to be with that person. Not because you feel bad, so you're going to do it. Think about that. When you feel good, you feel God. So if you're feeling bad, it's, it's, that's your answer. So there's a lot of compass. There's a lot of communication that's coming in from the universe, but maybe you're just not aware of what it feels like or what it looks like. It's getting deep, all right? We're gonna pull a couple more cards to see what the universe wants you to know and what's coming next for deck one, all right? What's coming next, thank you. The sun, this fell on the floor, wow. I love it. Eh, ten of cups at the bottom. Damn, you guys got a lot of, I haven't done the other decks, but I just feel like there's a lot of exhilarating energy coming from this deck. Get excited. The sun is here. What is the sun? The sun is the happiest card in all 78 of the cards. So out of all 78 cards, this one came out. You could be a Leo. You don't have to be. This also means you're going to be radiating a lot of energy. People are going to notice you. They're going to be like, what did you do? You're just connected back to the universe, which was you. God, love. It's all you. You can't disconnect from it. You cannot run from it. It is you. Okay? So trust that and understand that it is loving. It is gentle. It is support. All right? It is not punishment. It is not teaching you a lesson. It's not here to, it's none of that. That's, I'm just here to kind of refine you to understand what is the truth because we've all been there trying to find this and, and we just don't know. The sun is here. Whatever it is you're discovering and going through right now, I know I did, I said it wasn't a spiritual awakening. I, I really feel like you, you are awakening more to spirituality. And you are spirit as well. There's a balance between the physical and the spiritual world that you are learning. And this is going to bring you a lot of happiness. And I know we hear these words a lot, happiness, joy, da 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 da, da. It's like now us tarot readers, we have to really get into it now because you guys have already heard this before. The sun card, you know, it's like, are you going to constantly be excited to see this card all the time? Eventually you'll be like, okay, yeah, the sun, happiness. And that's... An interesting message that's coming through because that means you're overlooking some things. This feeling that you're getting ready to embrace is the most joy you've ever had in your entire life. And you're only here to continue to expand and receive more of that. This shouldn't even be called joy. We would have to create another word again because words they just don't do justice when it comes to describing energy. The energy of this is bright, radiant. Who is that? Wow, there's something about you. You're glowing. You have an aura around you. Yes, you've been connecting. You can tell when someone's been connecting. They are glowing. They feel bright. They're up. They're the light. You're here to be the light, deck one. All right, let me get one more card for you guys. Wow, the sun card, just to end it on that. This is celebration, happiness. You guys are going to hit the jackpot. You've hit the jackpot, but can you see it? Can you see it beyond everything else that's happening? All right, universe, any other messages? Manifestation of light, thank you. So we have the solar plexus chakra now to kind of balance this out, which tells me more knowledge of thyself. This is where your power is, the I am. Solar plexus chakra allows you to be confident in who you are. And it's also yellow, having a lot to do with the sun, brightness, standing out, shining, the light. Wherever you go, whatever room you go in, it will be lit up because of your presence alone, not because of your beauty physically. That's interesting, huh? Because many of you may think, oh, you know, it's because I have this and it's because I look like this and this and I have a good personality. Nope. Mm -mm. 
Lots of people have that. You're different. You're special. You have the manifestation of light. I can't. I, I didn't even read the first line. I see the beauty in me. I grow and develop my inner self into harmony with light and beauty. Beauty, beautiful. You are beautiful. But it is not your physical appearance that makes you beautiful. It's who you are. Gentle, caring, loving, emotional, connected, happiness, joy. You have this light about you. And people see it. They may not be able to tell you like, hey, you do this. When you do this, you inspire me. A lot of people are not talking. It's important for you to see this within yourself. A lot of people are not saying this. All right? Feel free to free yourself from negativity. This is a affirmation that the universe wants you to say back. I free myself from negativity. My heart transforms. My intellect shines and my inner light grows. This is your guys' mantra to end the reading. This was very personal. Like I feel like you're right here and we're having a personal reading. So the next time I see you or feel you, I hope that you feel lighter, easier, and you're able to see the miracles of the universe because it's not something you're gonna wanna miss. I'm glad that you found this video. I'm glad that we found each other. Don't forget to like, comment down below if you guys are part of the Tarot Tribe. I'm back. I'm feeling like I'm, like when I say that, it feels good to say, so I'm feeling like the universe is like, yeah, yeah, you're back for a bit. Yeah, so I'm gonna move on to deck number two. Deck two, this is your message directly from the universe. Deck two, deck two. I'm feeling like you are being spiritually called. Deck two, I'm feeling like you're being spiritually called. Deck one was all about spiritual protection. I'm touching your crystal. I'm feeling a lot of power in the crown chakra. I'm feeling like you guys are meant to be enlightened. It's very rare. I don't know if you guys heard my intro. It's very rare that someone is enlightened and connected to the universe. And I'd like to see myself as being a rare individual, but more people are becoming aware of this. You are also here to be very connected to the universe in an enlightened way. You might even be inspired to share these messages. Hell, you cannot experience all of this and not want to share it. Some of you guys are going to experience real life miracles and want to share it with other people. This is definitely feeling like a continuation. Okay, deck two, let's see who you're becoming. The universe wants you to know that you're becoming a panther, all right, to reclaim your power. So you are discovering who you are and the power that you do have. Once again, you're connected to source, universe, God, whichever you choose to call that. Source is literally where the power is. How often are you being plugged into this power? Me, every day, because it's who I am. You I believe are becoming to be that way. And it is not out of discipline. Let's get rid of this word discipline, okay? It's not out of discipline. It's out of enjoyment of connecting with something so magical, so out of this world that not even movies can stimulate this. Movies, books, music, anything that we see as an expression of the universe is just merely an expression. It's literally a crumb of what the universe can show you in the sense of miracles. It's beyond this world. And why I'm saying that is it's very stimulating. It's very exciting when things show up and you knew and people and events and next thing you know, you're here. Spirit's saying it's time to reclaim your power. It's time to wake up to who you are. Plug in. That's what Spirit's saying. That's your message. Plug in. Plug into your power. You only had one card, 44. Very clear. 44, you are going beyond 3D. Whereas verse or verse, you guys could definitely be artists. The first deck, they're just now getting into this. Like they're, you know, they're curious. They're looking into this. You are being called to this right now in this moment. 44, above 3D, going above physical. There's more than what we can see. Our eyes and ears cannot even see everything and hear everything. Already we're limited in these constructs. So there's more for you to understand as far as where your power is coming from. You're the magician, but the magic is coming from somewhere. Your energy, but the source is coming from somewhere or something. All right? Answer the call. 
I wish I would have dealt these so you guys could see that I did not see these cards. That's crazy spirit. Okay. Answer the call. Yes, you're chosen. If you're here, deck two, let's talk about it. You're chosen. The universe wants you to know this. Let's look at the, the uh, actual environment, the energy that you're currently in. We have the hermit. You could be a Virgo. You do not have to be. We have bravery. And we also have gain, nine of pentacles. All right? Seven of wands, nine of, of pentacles. So the hermit, Virgo energy, this, you could be in a place of introspection, of understanding what this is okay some of you could have already experienced some of these things in your and and it's really intriguing to you it could have been meeting someone it could be through a project let's get clarification for why the hermit's here for deck two what do you want them to know exactly do they need to hear right now yeah seven of swords You've been doing a lot of this on your own life, okay? You guys could definitely be doing a lot of this on your own. Very strong, very strong energy that I'm seeing here, but I'm also seeing nine of wands, which could be a, a, an exhaustion of just trying to figure things out on your own. And spirit is saying, hello, it's time to plug in and reclaim your power. So you guys have been deceived by your ego. The devil is here. I like to consider the devil as your lower self, all right? The devil on one shoulder, and then you have your higher self on the other shoulder. Higher self is literally the one who can communicate here instinctively from source and from the universe. Lower self, devil, these are all of your beliefs about yourself, all right? Those little beliefs that, nah, 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 that inner critic is what we call it, that's the devil, all right? Many of you are breaking free from following this voice of fear, of doubt, that maybe you can't do it, that you can't overcome it, that it won't happen, or that you'll have to do something in order to get it that you don't want to do. These are deceiving beliefs. Seven of swords. Spirit is saying, which voice are you following? Are you following the voice that feels good? Like good in God? Or are you following the voice of fear, of doubt, disbelief that is keeping you in this place right here with the devil card here? We also have the emperor and we also have the page of pentacles. Something is telling me, even though you're spiritually connected, it's like, let's just say you have God on, on, um, on the phone, but you rarely even call. It's like, you know you have this access, but you're not using it as much. And so Spirit Universe has brought you here for you to hear that you have power and it's time to plug back in. Sometimes you have to unplug, literally, I just see you guys like this with extension cords like an octopus. Just to this person, to this job, to this over here, to this, and to that. And spirit is saying, pull all of your power back, okay? Do more for you. Where you are in, in you, in your vibration, is where you're going to find source and God. Come back internally. Unplug, okay? We got the devil here. Unplug from what's keeping you in a low vibration. You only know based on how it makes you feel. Low vibrations, lack mentality, trauma, drama, harm, hurt, pain, agony, shame, guilt. These are low frequencies. How much can you accomplish in this energy? Spirit is saying, hermit, get into your hermit crap. Get into your cave get into your shell do some introspection and take your power back i'm hearing three days if you can disconnect from where most of your energy goes for three days you will start to feel a replenishment come back to your body 
you will start to feel your energy come back. Okay. Some I'm hearing food could be as big as well. Food, substances, whatever you're putting in your body is also affecting how you feel. Everything plays a part in how you feel. It's chemistry, it's vibration. So there's a need for introspection and solitude. It's in solitude that you're going to hear the universe and God's voice, whatever you choose, source, universe, God, clearly. Silence and solitude. It's such a subtle form of communication that I would say everyone misses it because it's very subtle. Unless you know what it feels like, you don't know what you're reaching for. Okay. So the voice of your un the universe, spirit, and, the and God is truth. It aligns with truth. It resonates. You feel it. Okay. I don't know you, but you feel this. Lots of distractions. That's where you have to pull your energy back. So the voice is a loving voice, but it is also a voice. It can come in the form of excitement. It comes in, obviously, the highest forms. It, it makes sense. Lower self, lower vibrations. The devil, higher self, higher vibrations. Happiness, joy, enlightenment, gratitude, love. In that space is where the universe's voice exists. In the space of fear and all that, and this is going to happen, and this is going to happen. This is the devil. You're freeing yourself from this little critic in your mind. It is not you. That voice is not you. It is the voice of your mind. Your mind is simply a tool. Your mind, your body. These are tools, not you. Okay, these are tools. I'm ready to wake up.com. Shameless plug. Dive deep into these studies. They are literally miraculous. We have Aries energy here. Some of you, patience. Allow this to happen. You're getting ready to gain a lot of financial freedom, a lot of financial independence. Something is growing. Something that you've planted is growing. And what's crazy is this plant that they're showing me is not one that you're attentive to. You know, when we have something and we really want it to grow, we're just like overly attentive to it. This isn't something that you see and it's for a reason. I think it's that way because the universe feels like you would have over fertilized it, overcooked it, over watered it. I don't know. They're saying you put too much pressure on things for them to work out. And so the ones that are actually working out are the ones that you're not putting pressure on. You don't even, you don't even think they're going to work out. You're like, oh, it's, yeah, yeah, I did that like last year, two years ago. And they're coming back to the surface now. All right. So the emperor is you're getting ready to, you're walking in your power. This is about you walking in your power. If you chose deck number two, the universe wants you to know that you have power. If you have fear of this power, hmm, yeah, because I don't see, um, let's get one more card for bravery. I don't see any cup cards here. Yeah, there they go. It seems where the universe connects with you the most emotionally is through your relationships, specifically could be through your romantic relationships. Something about opening your heart. Opening your heart, having this, gives you a balance of the power that you do have so that there will not be fear. Because with the right heart set, not mindset, the right heart set, you cannot do any harm with this. Okay, so we have the two of cups here for bravery. There's something about being open and being brave to go after your dreams. Be brave enough to take your power back from listening to what other people have to say about what you're going to do and how you're going to do it and blah, 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 blah. They're projecting, but they're also curious to see if you can do it because they couldn't. <laughs> it's crazy, but we can't always think of it in a bad manner. Okay, people are going to project when you start to move towards the things that you love because they had the fear to do it. But you doing it is what sets you out to be a trendsetter is the word I hear, a leader and someone who's going to go first. All right. Very few of you guys could be the oldest sibling. You don't have to be. Very few of you guys could be the youngest sibling. I say oldest because you're just naturally a leader and your, your life is the example. You don't have to work so hard at getting people to see what you see or believe what you believe when you just live it. They will see it's working out, they will see your joy, and they will be curious and they will ask you. I do believe you're a teacher of some sort, a leader of some sort, a mentor of some sort. So yes, it's gonna require some introspection. Even for myself, I like to take three days, which is crazy because we're talking about this. 
after being around heavy energy. Because after that third day, I start to feel the truth of my energy, not being influenced by other people. So it's not just people, places, it's also what you're putting into your body is what I'm hearing, all right? So the two of cups is bravery to be in love, bravery to fall in love, bravery to be open to love, bravery to follow your heart. What does following your heart look like? It looks like nonsense. It looks like you're batch crazy. That's what it looks like. So that's why the bravery is required. All right. Something about another thing I'm hearing is we're getting out of this chase your dream. The dream is here. There's no need to chase it. It's right here. <laughs> okay. These are truths that you guys are going to realize. And it's like cheat codes in life, shortcuts. And people are going to be like, hey, how'd you do that? And once again, it's like anyone who keeps, if people keep asking you how, 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 or why, or did, that should be your indicator that they see you as a teacher. They see you as a mentor. Message directly from the universe. Okay, we have the two of cups here. I got to see if this is a relationship. All right, I, I feel that this is having the bravery to go after what you're in love with, okay? Something that you're really in love with. If a page, king, knight, queen comes out, Two of Cups or or character card, I would say this is a person. Clarify the Two of Cups for deck two. What do they need to hear right now? The Fool. Yep, all about your dreams. The Fool is literally the Leap of Faith card. So Leap of Faith, I talk about this a lot. Taking that leap without the faith is what lands you on your face. You got to have that faith. You got to have that momentum behind it. And so some of you, it's about building your faith so that you can actually do these things. And then we have six of swords. Okay. And then we also, even though a person didn't come out, six of swords is also moving away. You could be moving away from people. It doesn't matter if they're a relationship person or as far as family, friends, someone you're in a relationship, doesn't matter. You're moving away from whatever it is. And let's just say, moving towards because a lot of people think this is sacrifice and you got to change your perspective here deck two there's a lot of perspective things that are you know like sacrifice i gotta sacrifice you do not have to sacrifice we think pulling pulling the plug letting go is sacrificing it was draining you to begin with you were already sacrificing your energy so do you want to sacrifice your energy or theirs so when we say the word sacrifice all right and letting go, change the perspective to moving towards. And you're moving towards a beautiful, loving relationship. I do believe that you're moving towards a very beautiful partnership specifically. Two of cups, we have the nine of pentacles. We have the nine of wands. Okay, yeah, that clarifies it. Because I know I'm feeling a person, but I'm also feeling your dreams. With the full card, take the leap and do it. Spirit is saying, what are you waiting for? Do it. You're ready. Post it. Share it you're ready. <laughs> it's like when you get the message and then you start to like apply it to yourself, you're like, okay, spirit. <laughs> that's what's happening right now. You guys could definitely be part of my soul tribe because this is like soul tribe vibes or caught a webinar, or you've been a part of my teachings before. Um, with the amethyst, the amethyst crystal, I really feel uh, like you're being called to carry more light in your crown chakra. So in your head, how you feel here is very important. Okay, so another thing is the full card taking a leap of faith towards your dreams means, yes, you're going to have to move away from some of the beliefs that you had. The swords is all about intellect. Your beliefs, your mentality has to shift. You are becoming who you already are. Um, but there's a lot more success coming to you. With the Page of Pentacles, I see an opportunity that looks, it doesn't look like it's going to be this big tree. I'm telling you, it looks like a little plant and you're just like, okay, yeah, I'm going to put this over here. And then next thing you know, you turn back around a couple of months, this plant could be a project thing, person, opportunity, something. And it, you just look and it's, it just grew. And you're like, how did it grow so fast? I've been over here watering because you have been, it's like you're over applying and putting too much pressure on some of these things to manifest. And it's, it's almost like overcooking them. Mm. I'm going to let that sink in because the universe is speaking to me. Okay. Page of Pentacles is a new opportunity. 
It doesn't look like a king. It doesn't look like a queen, but it is a beginning, a page, a baby, an adolescent, a start. And understand everything has to start somewhere. Patience, my friend. Deck two, patience. Patience, patience, patience. This is a beautiful start for you and a beautiful beautiful path that is going to pay off over time. Page of Pentacles is also about diligency, taking your time, okay? The page overnight, it's interesting because you skip the teenage stage. You're going from a page to an emperor. Let me explain this jump. The page is a child. The knight is a teenager, queen and king, masculine, feminine energy. The emperor is above all kings, queens, pages, and knights. This almost feels like it's happening overnight. Something is getting ready to take off overnight and you don't see it coming. It's best that way. Because if you see it coming, you might just mess it up. Is what, the, is what your higher self is saying. That's what the universe is saying. <sighs> Man, it's fun. It should be fun, not pr pressure and all of this. It should be exciting. Remember why you started it in the first place. It was exciting. It brought you joy. Whatever it is that they're talking about. Spirit is saying, answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Your soul, the fool card, it's going to make you look like a fool. They don't even have their eyes open and they're at the edge of the cliff. Nobody is even telling them. It's good that they can't see because if they could see the cliff, they might freak out. Literally, it's the same for you. So spirit is literally not showing you certain things because you might just mess it up thinking about something else or self-sabotaging it you're becoming the emperor all right you're you're literally going from a baby this is benjamin buttons right here this is like right to emperor old old king chief honcho energy boss energy but it's requiring you to move towards it let's clarify why this emperor is here page of cups oh that's right i had another message for you guys nine of pentacles was at the bottom right now if you guys it doesn't matter if you're single in a relationship what your status is independence is very important for you financial independence being able to provide that for yourself no more transactional relationships in 2023 doing it because it makes life easier for you or doing it because it's transactional. This is only going to help you survive. This isn't what you truly want. What you truly seek is to be exhilarated in life, to experience love, not just transactional relationships because it works or because of a title, you're this in my life. I'm telling you, you guys are, you guys are going beyond 3D paradigms. What is love? You also have a knight of wands. So that person, the two of wands that's coming in, you're gonna know that this is a soulmate because they have a lot of passion and fire energy. You can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it in my, my gut right now. It is, it is a feeling that is very rare that you will get around this person, two of cups. It is a feeling that makes you feel like you're on fire or electricity um, circulating throughout your body. It is a tingling feeling. And the wands is a lot of creative, passionate energy. There's a lot of physical attraction there. And it's also a night. So this is a young, youthful energy. So you guys are meant to have fun. You're meant to live this dream together. So it's like you're freeing yourself they're freeing themselves, whether you met them or not, so that you guys can experience this life together, okay? Because you do desire the emperor, you do have a counterpart, all right? So the, the love, your relationships have been very important, but love is so important. Love is so important to you, what you're in love with, what you do that you love, who you love. Um, this Knight of Wands is sparking this energy within you of passion, of youth, of excitement to live again, to, to it's like Christmas, seeing this person <laughs> it's like christmas okay and uh it's a good feeling and you deserve it deck two you deserve everything that's coming to you and that's why it's important to for you to reclaim your power all right we also have the page of cups so we have another page so we have two very important um 
reflections. So you're getting ready to see life through the eyes of a child, page of cups, where you're curious. That's why he has a fish in the cup. He's curious to know what's out there wandering, not, not from an adult perspective because the adult has their responsibilities, has these, has the obligations, has all of these things. You're getting ready to see life from a very youthful perspective, which allows you to be in love again, where you see life as a big playground. Your dreams and your desires, this is a direct text message from the future self, or from your future self. This is a direct message from your future self. Your dreams and desires are the keys to your fulfillment. So what's gonna bring you fulfillment and happiness in this lifetime? Your dreams. What do you dream of doing? What would it be like if you hit the jackpot? What would that life look like? Get in touch with that. That's the life that you're here to live, which is why you can even see it in an imaginary sense. It's being revealed to you. Your desires are not your wants or your needs. Desires surpass them. Needs, wants, you can meet those. You can get what you want. But desires requires the universe. And that is because these are desires that are connected to the universe. It is beyond material things that you are desiring. So if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading from a direct message from the universe. Don't forget to comment down below. Like the video if you guys haven't subscribed for more content because once again, I feel like I'm back. I'm not gonna jinx it, but I feel like the universe is saying this is it. So I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Until then, I'm on to deck three. What's good deck three? This is your reading. This is a direct message from the universe for exactly what you need to hear. And the message that I'm getting for you, Deck 3, already is that you are very pure. You are very pure. And this is your true state and this is your true nature. Over time, you may have changed it because of circumstances and people who have taken advantage of this pureness, but it is who you are and you feel good and your best when you are being pure, pure being true, being the light, being love, being honest, being open. This is who you are. And so you are returning back to who you are and not determining it by how people treat you, what circumstances have to offer or experiences happen in your life to remain true to who you are. Who are you becoming? You're becoming the lizard. 38, dream the world into being. You are becoming the hawk someone who allows spirit in the universe to guide them, rather their own intellect. So this is a lot more connecting with your free side of yourself, the free version of you, the version that's allowed to dream, the version that doesn't need permission to dream. Let's see what the overall energy is. Yeah, high priestess. The devil. The universe. All three of your cards are major arcana. Deck two was very spiritual and meant to be connected to the crown chakra and, and spirituality. You, deck three, are a priest a priestess, a mystic, a teacher, an empath, an indigo child, a star seed, a chosen one. Deck two, definitely chosen. Deck three, it feels completely different. It feels like you've already tapped into this energy. You could be a tarot reader. You could be a healer. You could already be in this world of spirituality. So, you might feel like you're not from here. You might feel like you're not from this world. I feel like this all the time in the sense of you know a lot, 
you're connected to things outside of the world. We have the universe, the devil, and the high priestess, all right? Uh, I talked a little bit about the devil being your lower self in one of the other decks, I believe it was two. The devil being your lower self, and then we have the higher self being your high your highest self, which is the one who's communicating to the universe, which is interesting. Because it would be like this. We have the devil, and then we have the higher self, which is who connects directly to the universe. You have a connection to the universe. You have the ability to dream your world into being. You are going to witness more miracles than many people around you may have not because of your heart, because of your purity, because of your seeking of knowledge. Okay, there's this white light, this white glow that, I, that they're bringing me to. This light and this glow that you have is very rare. Not very many people have this. Not very many people have been able to connect to the universe as much as you have. Even if you've overlooked it, whether this is dreams, revelation, you are being called to the highest version of yourself. This higher version of you is the enlightened one, is the magician, and the, the being that is actually creating this experience for you. All right, let's get some clarity. We have all major arcanas, which means the universe wants you to know that you're going through a spiritual transformation because you are called to be a light worker. A light worker is someone who brings the light, the truth, okay? And it could be in any industry, any industry of your choosing. It could be in the food and health industry. It could be in the beauty industry. It can be in the fashion industry. It can be in the music industry. It could be in the entertainment industry. You are here to bring the light. Already, you are at an advantage because you have the light. Many people who are great, the greatest of all time people that are here that we witnessed are fully connected to the universe in the sense of allowing the universe to work through them. Many of them have no idea that they're actually doing this. They just keep following this feeling and getting great results. And then everyone worships them because of the fame, success, and the money, whatever it may be. But with you, you are meant for fame, success. All of that, if you desire it, is yours. Spirit, more so, it is not any, any all of that stuff is going to come to you. But this connection of being able to see beyond this world is very rare, literally. Not everyone has this gift. Not everyone can see spiritually. Not everyone has this. So do not overlook that. So you going into any industry already, you're at an advantage because you have the light, which is the truth. The truth is, is that there's so many, there's, there's a lot, honestly. It's like this world is a bit upside down, a bit. Okay, the things we think are good for us are not. They're just marketing tactics. But who will be the one to come along and say, this is not true, this is true. That is gonna be you. So you're being prepped for this. 10 of cups, whatever this is, it's gonna make you very, very happy. Your spirit is going to guide you. There is no manual to this. There's no directional guide to who you're becoming because it is just natural to you. You're, you've, it's so natural that you've forgotten how natural it is. So the 10 of cups, we have a lot of fulfillment, happiness. You are here to actually achieve, to live your dream. I believe that it's connected to the people around you. I also feel like it's connected to your family. So that's something that's very important here too. Your emotional fulfillment, your happiness and love is actually going to inspire other people. So it is, the universe is saying it's very beneficial for you to be in love. It's very, very beneficial for you to be abundant. It's very beneficial for you to be at peace and to feel healthy because then you will inspire the people around you because of the presence that you're in. Not because of what you do, but because of the presence that you're operating in and the life that you're choosing to live. We also have the page of swords here at the bottom of the card deck let's see why is the devil here yeah so i see that you're going to be bringing the light to the world um it could be in the financial world it could be just once again bringing the truth um we have politics here we have a lot here with the devil lots of lots of lies um you're a light worker you've come here to bring this truth to connect with the light 
to discover who you are, to discover what the universe is on a deeper scale. There could be this infatuation, this love. This is kind of how I felt when I started my journey. I was like obsessed with just knowing just what was true, like what was true? What is this? What are we in? And to understand that the universe is holographic and so much more. <laughs> it is beyond human comprehension when I say you're going to discover the light. I mean, you're discovering truths that Nikola Tesla, Einstein, Neville got it, Abraham Hicks. These are spiritual teachers and um, inventors or people who had access to higher knowledge. You may pick up where they left off. You may be inspired by them because you are them. Anyone or anything that inspires you is a clue to who you truly are. That's because, yes, that was you. And anyone else who you're inspired by, even if it's Michael Jordan or a writer, the, this is literally you within this person, whether it's their greatness, their success. It is who you are. Triumph, victory, Serena Williams. It doesn't matter. You are connected to that feeling because you're a part of the winning team is what I'm hearing. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. It's been a long time. You've been very patient. A lot of perseverance of just allowing spirit to work, but there's still action in the sense of your action is inspiration. If anything, when you're acting, it's out of inspiration. So there's not a lot of action that's required in creating your reality. The action is just when you want that final movement here. Hope that's making sense of the uh, pentacles. This is going to pay off whatever this is because emotionally fulfilling, uh, it's emotionally fulfilling to you and on your journey. King of pentacles, okay? So you guys are moving from a seven of pentacles. You're moving from waiting, someone who's waiting on their harvest to coming in to someone who has the entire harvest with the king of, uh, of pentacles here. You're meant to be very successful, a uh, CEO, a leader, um, you're not meant to ever be poor. You're not ever meant to be in lack. That is not who you are, which is why it feels so uncomfortable to be. So the king of pentacles is who you're becoming someone a lot more stable, someone a lot more financially profitable is the word that I'm hearing. But this is all coming from what you love to do. Some of you may have been trying to figure this out with the Page of Swords, but it's like you trying to figure out how to do this or how to make this happen is, is like a child perspective, Page of Swords. You will spend a lot of time trying to figure it out. And Spirit is saying there's nothing to figure out. Deck three, out of all messages, this has been the most challenging to digest and then kind of like say it because... These are very deep messages from the universe. You connecting is working. Whatever you're doing is working when it comes to connecting with the universe, whether you're imagining, whether you're being aware through signs, through numbers, through people, through what people say. The universe is always responding to you. Ask more questions and do things with intention. Okay, when you put intention behind it, you're also putting your power behind it. So instead of wondering what will happen, say what will happen. Tell what will happen. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? It's crazy because deck two had, have you answered what your soul is calling you to do? Answer the call. So you guys could have definitely been going back and forth between two. If you're here, on deck three, this means that you're ready for the next level. You are ready for the next level of spirituality. And I believe the next level is to just live it and experience it, walking in it. And as you walk and experience it, you're going to have this natural desire to want to share it with other people. Your purpose is to simply exist. So if you guys have been searching, trying to figure out what is your purpose, once again, spirit is saying there's nothing to figure out. It's already figured out. That was the universe's job to figure things out. So your purpose is to simply just exist, to be, to allow, to enjoy this life. Okay, that's why you're here, to be happy, to be enjoy. This is the next lesson. <laughs> it's 
since you guys love those. Learn joy. Learn what sparks your joy. What is it that you're doing that sparks your joy? And if you can find this without people, that would be the best part because then it won't be codependent on them being there for you to receive joy, love, money, peace, whatever it is. Okay, you're cutting back off of dependency, having to depend on another person for something. There's, you are your only dependent. Yourself, self, because self is literally a dependent. It has to sleep, it has to eat, it has to go to the restroom, it has to shower, it's tired. <laughs> your body, your body is part of self. Your self is body, mind, soul, self, your self, but it is not you, yourself. It belongs to you, self. Get to know your self. The personality of yourself can also be relatable to zodiac signs. That's why zodiac signs have resonance. They align with the self, the ego version of us, but that is not you. So find what sparks your joy. And then the balance is when you're able to enjoy it, when your ego, when your body, when you're in it, you're enjoying it. But first, what, what sparks joy so you can enjoy it, okay? I think that you might be moving a little bit ahead of yourself trying to figure it out, but it's right now in the present moment that spirit is communicating with you. Deck three, you have the gift to hear the voice of God. The closest thing I would say to the voice of God is the truth. Why is the universe here? Two of pentacles. Okay, you guys are back and forth juggling between the old life and the old you and the new life and the new you. But the new life and the new you does not come with the manual. It does not come with the direction guide because this new you is true to you. It's authentic, it's when you're being true to yourself. It is when you're being um, true to nature. We have eight of wands, something is, some type of communication is gonna be coming in, all right? You're juggling two things. I feel like maybe you, you're trying to decide between two things, could be two places to live, two houses, two people, two cars. What's the other decision? Give me the two decisions. One decision on the other side of the pinnacle and the other one, thank you. One is to move forward, the chariot. We have cancer energy. The other decision is three of swords, okay? So some of you, once again, this is interesting because deck two had some messages here about move. I was talking about moving forward, sacrificing. You're not, and, and not to stay in a situation because you feel bad or to do something because you feel bad. That's literally telling. Remember, to feel God is to feel good. Does this feel good? Now, to the ego, it might not feel good. Your heart might be hurting. There might be a little bit of pain. And again, out of all decks, you guys are experiencing this the most. Three of swords, whether it's heartbreak, grief, having to let something go, or even if you let something go, actually feeling the effects of it, so maybe grieving of it, all right? So you guys, my friends, have the, you're a healer. You're a healer. You have the ability to heal. You have the ability to transcend pain. You have this ability. So that's why out of all three decks so far, you're the only one because you're the only one who can bear this. That should show you how strong you are. Literally, you're, you are not like everybody else at all. You're not like anybody. You're very rare. You're pure. You're unique. You're different. The more you embrace this, the more you're going to stand out. Okay? I hear that you're a star if you're here. Now, one decision you don't want to leave because you're going to feel bad, heartbreak, it's bittersweet. On the other chariot, you're excited. You want to move forward towards this, and it is going to move forward. But what Spirit is saying is do not stay in a situation just because you feel bad or do not do it because you feel bad. Imagine you get invited to a birthday and, and you feel bad. And you're like, oh, I don't really want to go. I don't feel like the best, but you still go. You're not being true to yourself. That's number one. Number two could be fear of if I don't go, what will happen? So many things, right? But the point is, is that it doesn't feel good. So 
you shouldn't stay or do something because you're going to feel bad if you don't. This is an obligation. If you, I'm only breaking this down to you guys, deck three. No one else had this conversation. This tells me you're on a different level. You're able to receive these messages. This isn't babying anymore. Like this is real life spiritual warfare that maybe you've experienced or spirituality, um, not in the greatest sense because of a lot of things you've overcome, a lot of darkness, but it's because you're the light. And what, what is drawn to the light? Everything, even the most lowest frequency insects are drawn to the light. So move forward, follow your heart, follow love, follow that direction. And all of the things that you feel bad about, try to have a higher perspective of it. Because even if you stay, it's not going to make anything better, whether it's a job, a person or a place. Okay. So instead of looking at what you have to let go of, look at what you're gaining. All right. There's a big transformation. What is this chariot? What are you guys moving towards? Nine of pentacles, financial success. Talked a lot about this. All right. No more transactional relationships in 2023. Just doing it, staying in it because it's transactional. Where's the love? You're desiring it. I'm telling you, you're desiring love and fulfillment. And you're going to find it. Even if, even if you haven't already, you're going to find this. Um, it's very pivotal that you understand that your independence in your, is connected to your freedom. Feeling free. Imagine you being free. You can take care of yourself. I mean, this person, Nine of Pentacles, is right before the relationship card. It talks a lot about, usually this is a queen in her palace by herself, but she's not alone. She's not unhappy because she's by herself. She is at peace. She has everything. She is abundant. She does not need anything. She's very fruitful. Her trees offer fruit outside. She's so abundant. No matter where she goes, uh, she does not have to depend on anybody. It is all coming from her. So you are learning financial stability for yourself because somehow you have been giving away power, could be to a person, could be to a job, it doesn't matter. And, and altering your life based on what it can provide for you. And it's transactional and understand that what you want is not transactional. What you desire is freedom, financial freedom. And that's also from another person. So understand that there is, there is freedom in being independent. There's something about independence that's coming to you that you're moving towards a lot more finances, a lot more luxury for yourself. Do it for yourself. You don't need anyone else. Do it for you. Take care of you. Take care of you. Deck number three, take care of yourself. All right. So yeah, eight of swords, you are freeing yourself from something all right. And it could be bringing you some heartbreak. Having to let go of something could be bringing you some heartbreak, but we focus a lot on, on the half empty glass. If you can just focus on what is coming after this decision, that things are going to be moving forward so quickly for you, you will not fear making this decision. All right. And trust that everyone has a connection to the universe as well. It is not your responsibility for somebody. All right. What else does the universe have? Cause you guys had two text messages. Your growth has been acknowledged by the universe. So you've come very far. Once again, I said, whatever you're doing is working. Okay. You're very connected to the universe. You've already heard most of these messages. Okay. In fact, I'm, I'm probably tired of telling you these messages. <laughs> like, I don't even know you, but I probably told you. And so spirit is saying, apply, live it now, live it, walk in it. Live it, walk in it, be it, embody it. You're getting good news coming in very quickly. A lot of good news. Things are getting ready to move fast. You had a little bit of a pit stop here. You had to, you had to let go of some things. You had some spiritual splinters. You're trying to fly here and you got, you got all of these holes in your wings. That's what I'm feeling. All right. And I just feel like the holes are just everything that you've had to get yourself out of. It's, it's all, everything that you've been through. All right. And freedom is so big for you. Freedom. You're here to live freely to be in love with life. 
but your thoughts, disbeliefs, or something has been holding you back. Why is that eight of swords here? Yeah, nine of swords. Look at this energy. Out of all three decks, this is the only one. You're up at night thinking about maybe having to make a decision or what you're going to do or how you're going to make this decision. Follow your heart. You cannot make the wrong decision. Trust everyone is led. You cannot save everybody. You cannot please everybody. You cannot make everybody happy. Make you happy. Don't just stay because you feel bad. Don't just call because you feel bad. Do it because you're excited and good. And if you're not, that should give you the indicator that this may not be for you. Would it feel better to let go of something that's not for you? Will it feel better to let go knowing that something better is coming? You would have to decide what feels better. Let's see what, you're, what, what the universe wants you to know because we have the healing messages. Divine light. Okay, let's get two more. Thank you. Everything turns to light. So even if you have to make a decision that's tough, it all turns to light. You cannot make the wrong decision. You will always be brought right back to the same road, right back to the same path until you follow your heart. So we have, you're the expression of love and you shine like the sun. That's crazy because deck two got the sun card. Your inner light is your strength and your treasure. Your intuition is guiding you to discover and wonder the goodness of who you are. Right now you're being guided. Yellow, solar plexus chakra, this is all about your confidence. I am, your willpower, your self-esteem. Who am I? Everything turns to light. Work to improve yourself by embracing all that life brings to you. Transform darkness into light. I told you guys are doing it. I told you. I allow myself to grow and become stronger. Okay, this is all part of your growth, all part of your growing um, pains, if you could say. Growing pains is what it is. You are grow outgrowing your shoes, as I could say. You're getting new shoes, but you're sad because you got to let go of the old ones. So what are you going to do? You're going to hold the old ones, put them up in your closet and leave them there? Or are you going to embrace the new? Something about letting go. There's a fear of letting go. Fears of letting go. Where's this coming from? Courage. Okay, maybe losing something, losing things. You think you're losing things and you're not. We have to change our perspective here, deck three. And you also have the voice of the heart. I love it. Because ah! at sometimes, like I say the words, I'm communicating, I'm saying these messages and it's like spirit come through because they're not getting it. Okay. You have a decision to make that's keeping you up at night. And whatever it is, it's causing you a lot of worry. It's causing you a lot of low frequency energy. And when you're in a low frequency of energy, it's very, very challenging to attract great things or to even experience the present moment or enjoy life. So with that being said, listen to your heart. What is your heart saying? Your mind is going to come in and give you all these rational ideas and rationalize. Blah, 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 blah. The mind is very limited. Understand the mind only knows what it's been taught. That's how limited it is. Meaning if it doesn't see something, it doesn't believe in it. It's very limited because I'm sure you haven't seen most of the world, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's out there. The voice of the heart. Silence the fear in your head and discover the voice of your heart. The fruit of these words will guide you. Trust the songs <laughs> of my soul. Trust the songs of your soul, the songs of your heart. Your intuition leads you on the path of light. You cannot make the wrong decision. Every path is connected to one path. Now, can you delay it, detour it? Yeah, you can be out there wandering like many people, or you can follow what's aligned and you know what it is and you know what the truth is and you have to follow that. Have the courage. Have the courage to be stronger than the fear that you have and the doubt that you have. You're the light and you will remain the light. You trust in source and you stand tall before the tests of life. Grow and become wiser through every challenge. You are being, you are a being of new life. You're starting over, but from this place, you're going to have a lot more courage. Deck three, I think I went over my time. The divine fruit. Okay, this is the last thing I'm going to say because 
I feel rewards are coming in. Rewards are coming in. As you work to improve and free yourself, strengthen your foundations. Your foundation should be built on love, not fear, not transactional. Oh, you're just here because my life is easier and I don't have to pay for this. And there's a, that's transactional. Might as well be a job. Might as well make the relationship a nine to five. Love is what you desire. Your intellect is light, your heart is warm, and your soul is strong. You are nurtured by the divine sun and the fruit you bear reflects your inner light. You are the light. You are the light that has been shaded for so long and now it is your time to shine and now it is your time for success. I hope this inspired you. I hope that this really, really, really shocked something in your soul, in your spirit, for you to know that you're not alone. You're being divinely guided and that this decision that you have to make should be dealt with your heart. No more making decisions out of fear and lack. Follow your heart so that you can get what you truly desire, which is love, abundance, success, all these things we're so happy about affirming. That is what you're attracting. Deck three, if this is you, I'm ready to wake up.com. If you guys are looking for more content, the tarotchest.com. If you guys are looking for rare videos. In the meantime, I'm moving on to deck four. Deck four, last but not least. What do you need to hear exactly right now from the universe? Okay, if you guys were drawn to this crystal, I feel very strongly that you are very unique. Out of all three decks, I feel like this is the deck that is the most mysterious and the most random. So whoever you're becoming, <laughs> of course, the rhino spirit, overcome any obstacles, Trust the Ningling. And let's look at your overall energy. We have the Six of Pentacles, success. We have the Mother Earth. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. We also have the Ace of Air. Okay. Deck four, I feel like. Hmm. Deck four, you have a new perspective that is going to be given to you, that you don't have to work as hard for success, and that you don't have to do so much to overcome. It can be easier, and I sense that there is a nurturing energy that you also could be attracting here with the Mother Earth. You are meant to do the impossible. And as crazy as that sounds, I'm here to tell you this. It's interesting out of all three of the decks, you were drawn to this one. Cause this is the one that kind of feels like it's just out there straggling along. If you look at this card here, it feels like you're here. It's like you're barely getting there, but you're out of touch. Or you feel out of touch. Maybe you feel like you don't belong. All right, there's a sense of belongingness that you are desiring. Where do I go? Where do I fit in? Give me the current energy for deck four. Ten of pentacles. This is great. You have a lot of success that is coming to you, deck four. Okay, let's get one more card. The star card. The hermit. There's some revelation of who you are that is getting ready to come in. A lot of stability is coming in. A lot of practical wealth is coming in for you. I also believe that this could be connected to a relationship. We have the 10 of pentacles. So you guys could be, some of you guys could be getting married very soon or engaged or meeting the one. Okay, we have the star card here as well. So you could be an Aquarius, you could be a Virgo, you don't have to be. You also could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So with the Hermit card, I feel like 
there is also some introspection that is required. So there was another deck that I feel like maybe you guys could have been drawn to. I'm not going to say which one it is, but I feel as though with the hermit, there is introspection and there also is a more in-depth communication that is required for you to understand life outside of practicality. It really feels like you could be a very practical person um, and maybe you see things as very practical or you're only focused on overcoming obstacles or success or overcoming, overcoming, overcoming. And it's like, if you don't have something to overcome, you don't feel accomplished or successful. And something is getting ready to change here because you don't have to be overcoming something to feel successful. You already are successful by just feeling successful, knowing success and desiring success. All right. So Ace of Air, your perspective is what's going to be changing the most um, in this next season for you. So if you guys are here, the universe wants you to know directly to be free to express yourself. There is a lot of misinterpretation of who you are from others. And I see that your guides are trying to communicate with you and have been trying to communicate with you with trust the ningling. So the trust, what is the ningling feeling trying to tell you is that you are here to shine. You are a star. You have the star card here and it's, it's the star card is not net. It doesn't have to be such a star. Sometimes the star player is the team player. Understand that sometimes the star player is the team player. So you might have this perspective of what a star is. I'm also getting hope, hope for your future, hope for more, hope for more success, hope for more um, wealth in your life. And believe that. So spirit wants you to have hope and to be free to express yourself, but still there's this disconnect that I'm picking up here. And I really feel like with the hermit, there's going to be more time required for you to understand. It's in a sense, you're a very free flowing person. Um, maybe you don't have as much structure. Maybe you kind of just go with the flow. Even if you don't, this is what you are actually getting into is being free, but having the balance of this freedom. Let's get some information on why the hermit is here for deck four. Return to heart. Yeah. So once again, practicality, I'm a Capricorn. I get it. Most of some of my experiences I avoided subconsciously feeling because I could just find practical solutions. And so if nothing's wrong, practically, it's like everything was okay, but that's not the case. There's more outside of practical desires that you are desiring, such as connecting connecting with people, connecting with others, all right? It's not just about success and material things. It says, breathe the light and stick to the essential for your soul, the present moment. So if you're always focused on where am I gonna go next? What am I gonna do next? What, you're missing the present moment. And even now, look at where you are. Look around. Look at the phone you have. Are you in a car? All of this was previously manifested. Do you remember when you wanted that phone? Do you remember when you desired the job that you're at? Do you remember this? So you are already right now living in the present moment of your manifestations from the past, but overlooking it because you're in the future. It's like this loop and you're never able to really enjoy and experience the present moment. And I like to say it's like driving a car and you're in the car, you're in the passenger seat. And let's just say you're in a very, very beautiful place you've never been and you're trying to see it but the driver is driving so fast. It's like, you can't see anything, it's so blurry. Slow down so you can take it in, so you can smell the roses, so you can be in the present, so you can be alive. So calm your thoughts, focus on your heart and find space to just exist and to just be. Where your light and greatness are is where you're going to find your peace and your silence peace of mind because your mind is like a <laughs> officer, chief, commander, 
telling you what to do, why we have to do this, what we have to do, when we have to do this. Da, da, da. It's very planned. It's very strategic. And spirit is saying there's no room to flow. It is like trying to control the ocean. Have you ever surfed? Have you ever been in the water? Would you fight the waves or would you ride the waves? So spirit is saying to ride the wave with ease and joy. This is where success is. The people who are most successful, it's not what they're doing. It's because of what they enjoy. They enjoy it. They enjoy it so thoroughly that they're successful at it. If you enjoy ASMR, you're probably going to be successful at it. I don't. Whatever you enjoy, if you do it and have the freedom to express yourself and actually do it for a certain amount of time, you're going to be successful because you enjoy it so much. It, you're doing it all day, every day. It comes natural to you. It's easy to you. This is the way to success. Rather, the practicality, business, mind, all of these tools and tactics that you've been trying to figure out how to get there. It is through your hope. It is through this introspection with the hermit. There isn't very many major arcanas. I know we have the star card. I know we have the hermit, but there is still more spiritual growth that I see that is happening in your life for you to understand. What do you truly want? Some of you think you want money, but if I were to give you $200,000 right now in cash, honestly, because a lot of people, they don't answer that honestly. Are you, what are you going to do with it? What would you do with that? And I'm telling you right now, none of you are probably going to say, put it inside of a suitcase so I could just look at it every day because I love money. No, you guys already have plans on what to do with it. You're trying to get rid of it before you even get it. You don't want it. You want what it can do for you. And even what it can do for you, whether it's the car, the house, the person, it all boils down to how it makes you feel to be free, to check your account and to have more than enough, to feel abundant because that's who you are. Spiritually, you are the universe. So you're connected to everything. You have everything. So I'm dropping these gems because I feel like you're in and out your energy in spirituality, in this, in that, studying that, doing this, practical this, um, discipline this, meditate this, and that's all great. But what is your heart telling you? What is your heart telling you? Freedom through faith. There's something about freedom. So once again, the money allows you to do what you want, be what you want, have what you want, go where you want. It's freedom. But understand how quickly we're, we have plans to get rid of it before it even gets to the account. But we think we want it. Think about it. If you wanted it, wouldn't you keep it? Wouldn't you keep it? <laughs> Man. Freedom through faith. Calm your thoughts and rise above fear. Free yourself of all doubt by entrusting your doubts to God. And have faith in God's perfect timing and placement. I trust his will and find freedom. So trusting in the will of God, the universe, we've had this. We've talked about this in another deck. So if you go to another deck and you hear me talking about this, it was meant for you. Everything is in perfect timing. And I also think that you guys are really adamant on getting to certain places very quickly, not realizing how far you've come. And I see that there is a freedom of expressing yourself vocally, talking more about what you believe, asking more questions, getting in tune more with your faith. You're going through a transformation. And once again, that's why I felt like with this energy, you did not resonate with any of the other decks because you're still trying to figure out where you belong, what you resonate with, who you are. And all I can do is give you clues. And how do you know it's true is by how it feels and how it makes you feel. So something very important about your heart chakra is here with all of these green cards, opening up your heart. Through love, you can release the inner work and know peace. Have a gentle view of life and welcome every step with confidence. 
remain brave in the face of fear and have the wisdom to let the universe do its work. Open up your heart to something outside of you guiding you. Even though it seems outside, it's not. It's inside. It's just projected outside so we can hear it, okay? Transformation, you're constantly evolving. You're, you improve inwardly by working on your weaknesses and strength. Life ensures your present situations will learn and grow. Okay, and open your wings to the light here and now, present moment. Once again, very focused on getting somewhere. What's happening in the present moment? If you were in the present moment, there is no fear. There is no depression. There's no anxiety. You are present. You're not thinking about the past. You're not thinking about the future. That's why spirit is saying, can you be in the present moment? Can you just allow five seconds? of silence without being stimulated all the time? Can you take in this sense of serenity? It's like, feel that. It doesn't have to be going so fast all the time. Yeah, what's next? I'm gonna overcome this. I'm gonna go climb this mountain. <laughs> like, this is great. You have the spirit of a warrior, literally. Could have been drawn to deck three. But I don't think you're ready yet just for that, which is why you're here, okay? The future does not exist, and the past is gone. Focus on the present moment. Have confidence in life again, because here and now there is no danger. Everything happens when my soul is ready. So right now, here and now, you need nothing. Think about this. Let's say the bills are due, all this stuff is due. But right now, you need nothing to just simply exist. What are they bringing me to? It's a book. I don't think it's The Alchemist. The Untethered Soul is a great one as well to start your spiritual journey. Even if you didn't just start it, just understanding a little bit more of this present moment, present moment, what am I thinking about? There's a book, Think and Grow Rich, present moment, could be Think and Grow Rich. All of this has to do with success as well. People don't realize that it's not practical. It's energy, attention. I am attentive to all that manifests within me. Remember I was saying that? You might not have even understood. Pay attention, like look at, look at where you are. Look how far you, pay attention. Are you aware? When negativity rises within you, you transform it into light, love, and hope. Hope, once again, the star card. That's who you are. You're someone who transforms things into light, love, and hope, which is why you're so damn driven. You're like a rhino just climbing the mountain. I can do anything. Anything's possible. Something that they're bringing me to, a really good documentary, Project Possible. Okay, I've seen this when they were hiking the mountains and that was literally it's one of the probably one of the most inspiring documentaries i've ever seen in my entire life a group of five people a team climb i believe seven of the tallest peak mountains in the world some are illegal to climb and some haven't even ever accomplished them and somehow they managed to do it in a short amount of time and the energy is just this is the same energy. You can do anything you put your mind to, but it's like you're putting your mind on the wrong things, if, if that makes sense. It's like learn how to use this power instead of just going into it like a rhino everywhere. It's giving me a lot of Aries energy, okay? Just, I never do this. Just, everything is good. Everything's okay. Everything is like I have to talk to you like this just relax spirit wants you to know that everything is working out but are you open to something outside of yourself you wouldn't have to overcome so much you wouldn't be doing this on your own and even then you're not but still your desire to improve is constant once again you are an overachiever but what are you achieving what are you trying to achieve what is success what does that mean really 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 get in touch with yourself to figure out what is it that I am chasing. And that's why they're saying be in the present moment so you can, it's in the present moment where you're like, damn, why am I, why am I trying to do all this? Okay, 
So attention, where's your attention going? Unconditional love, this is all coming from unconditional love. The universe wants you to know that. If you're here, there's a message. What exactly do they need to hear? You're transforming, okay? Seven of cups, you're gonna have many options, not just one. See, when you try to make this happen, you have one path. The universe is going to be presenting many, 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 many options with you and for you. Another thing is dreaming outside of your practical attainment. Some of you have these plans of, okay, once I get this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. It's like something better can happen if you're open and you allow it to happen. There's a, there's a lot of, there is so much practical energy coming through right now, whoever you are. And I encourage you to break out of the practical mind so that you can obtain what you truly desire because what you truly desire is not practical. Success, love, abundance, joy is not practical. If it was, we could just go into the store and buy it off the shelf. So in order to obtain what you desire, it's gonna require a different tool, a different approach, a different perspective, not so much practically. I had to learn this as a Capricorn. I had to take a step back and stop trying to figure it out. The mind, the mind trying to figure this out, you guys. The mind, think about this. The mind trying to figure all of this out. The mind is a tool in a sense, even as a child, you have to teach it how to talk, how to think. You have to teach the mind even how to do its job. It's very limited. Spirit wants you to be open to something much more. There's emotional fulfillment. Look at this. I didn't see any cups coming out. No cups. Just ace of air. A lot of like new perspective is forging. Like you are really going to be challenged to shift your perspective because what you believed, it wasn't true. Some of the things you didn't believe were, tr were, were not true, just like all of us. We have beliefs that we thought were true. They weren't. And then what happens is when they're not true, you don't know where to go because you're like, well, I thought this was going to work. I thought it was it's not about right or wrong. It's about what is the truth. The truth is the path. It is the communication from the universe and source. So you have a lot of opportunities coming in. You have a wish come true that's coming in. Nine, nine of cups. The moon, Pisces energy here, has not been revealed to you yet because you can't see it because it requires a different approach. Rather than practically, it's emotionally. Like for me, as a Capricorn, if I... If something tragic happens, like my laptop broke, usually I would freak out years ago. Man, I'm way past that now. But now, as a Capricorn, I realize, well, hell, I just find solutions to everything, so I never really tune into how I feel about it. Like, wow, wow, that doesn't... Uh, sit with your feelings a little bit and just fill them out. So you don't have to be earth sign, but you could be a very practical person or just focus on hard work, business plans, school, you know, all of these educational things from a 3D perspective. It's only 3D because truth surpasses it. Even this is not practical. I don't know you. We cannot explain this in a practical sense. So what else you have going on is you have somebody coming in. Okay, you have a wish come true. You have someone coming in, a romantic partner, Okay, if you have not met them already, you have a romantic partner coming in very soon. The tower, this is going to strike like lightning. <laughs> it's going to come right in, pull you in. You're not going to know. Queen of Cups, this person has a lot of love, a lot of emotions. They could be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. They don't have to be, but we do have a knight and we do have a queen. Very youthful energy with this connection. Someone has a lot of um, intuition. You could be teaching this person. This is going to spark more of your spirituality. I feel like spirit's doing this to wake up your heart to spirituality a little bit more. Um, so whoever this is, they are very intuitive, very intuitive. They could be into astrology. They could be into the moon. Um, they can be very imaginative, very dreamy, very fantasy-like, not practical, which is perfect for you, actually. It is going to be the opposite. It's going to open up your heart to more emotional, um, your emotional compass, your emotional intelligence. This is gonna come in right away. We have Scorpio energy, very heavy. We have a lot of water energy. So whoever this is, they could have a lot of water in their chart for the reason of pulling out some of those emotions, pulling out some of those, asking you questions that maybe other people didn't ask you. 
that are going to really bring that out of you. It could be a soulmate. I feel it's romantic. There's a lot of love, a lot of emotions here. It's a wish come true, nine of cups. So you're very happy with whoever this person is. And I feel like they're going to come around a time where maybe you have a lot of options. For those of you who are already in a relationship, you could just be simply meeting a soulmate friend. Okay, so take that how that resonates, a soulmate friend. All right, last card. You guys got a lot of healing going on here. All right, so we have harmony. All right, that's it right there with the third eye. So we have the third eye crown, crown chakra with the purple. All right, and we also have the yellow. So you guys have a pretty good just overview of the chakras. The only one that I'm really seeing now that's missing um, I would say this is definitely the third eye as well. So the crown chakra, you're, you're getting close there, but the root chakra, your foundation, your relationships, all right, what everything is founded on. And so when we have harmony, open yourself up to the divine being within you. Once again, harmony with your third eye, harmony with the spiritual version of you, not just the practical. You are in the image of God. Thus, you have the power to bring light into your life and turn darkness into anything into something beautiful. In the absence of resentment, anger, or doubt, you will find harmony. So there's harmony coming back in your relationships, harmony with you. And I also feel like it's because you are opening up your heart, are opening up your heart. It's so important, opening up your heart chakra, wear green, light heart chakra uh, incense, get a green candle, light it in, with the intention of, I am opening my heart. Your heart is the compass that is gonna guide you when when you are feeling it is coming from this space we call it the heart but it's coming from this space okay it's coming deep and even in here you might be feeling some things tingling in your gut this is communication trust the ningling trust this feeling over what you think because once again you can only think what you've been taught it's very limited so releasing that and just allowing this space of emotions allowing that space of emotions and also a space for your higher self and your spiritual self to shine through so if you guys chose deck number four i'm ready to wake up.com there's a lot of content you guys can unlock and it includes activating many chakras activating psychic abilities understanding the truth but in the meantime, it was good to catch up with you guys. I'm hoping that this brought you some inspiration, but also some deeper revelation and insight for where you are right now. So I'm sending you so much love, so much light, and I'm receiving that back as well. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next Pick a Card reading. Love and light.